Hey Pisces, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Tuesday, April 20th. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. At the heart of your reading, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is really enjoying your work. I'm getting a little bit of like getting getting lost in the details of your work, like in a good way, because it, it consumes you. It's exciting. It's something that you can pour yourself into. Like the time flies when you're having fun sort of energy. It's like you might look up at the clock and you realize hours have gone by and you've just been working on this thing that's really uh, capturing your interest. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's the challenge here? As Pisces loses themselves in their work. The relationship might be suffering. Two of Cups. Either you're focusing too much on work and that is um, precluding the possibility of a relationship. Like you don't have enough time for a relationship because you're spending a lot of time working around the clock. Um, or... If you have a partner in your life, you might be uh, neglecting them. Your focus is the Seven of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> mm. I think you want to stop resisting something. I'm just not sure what it might be. Give me more on the Seven of Wands, please. Ten of Wands. You're you're you've been resisting an ending that's been looming over you like a dark cloud. So I wonder now if you've been throwing yourself into your work as an escape from a relationship that you suspect is moving toward ending. Let's see what led up to this in the recent past. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. Um, prioritizing your finances. Feeling like your, your life is set up the way that you want it. And so you can follow the things that you want to do. What I meant by that is, um, like you're not hurting for money at the moment. So you can spend your time working on something that you love to do. if that weren't always the case for you. The energy of the environment is the Three of Swords in reverse, the need for healing, the need to spend more time at home, Five of Pentacles reversed, In the near future, we have the Three of Wands reversed. <clears throat> so it's possible that this is saying you're going to stop spending so much time out there searching for what you want. Or you may put a plan on hold Give me more on the Three of Wands, please. Two of Swords. <clears throat> yeah, you're going to make a difficult decision. At first, you're not going to know what to do, what you want to do about it. 
but you're going to decide to to wait on something that you've been working toward to hit pause Your surprise energy is your energy, Pisces, the Page of Cups. What's going to happen to Pisces? Knight of Wands in reverse to clarify. Um... There's a possibility this is being naive and getting taken advantage of by, by someone who has no intention of sticking around. Someone might have entered your life recently who seems exciting and has like flashy energy and you get really wrapped up in their energy when they're around, but they're unreliable and they don't they don't have an intention of being there for you or, or sticking around for the long term. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing if if you're open to a, a very fun, vibrant experience and you're not worried about uh, like loyalty or how long the situation might last, then that, that can spell a, a lot of fun, a, a short period, a short burst of energy, a lot of fun. Now, it's also possible, a, a different scenario, is that you are going to feel frustrated that you can't go after something that you really want, and that's going to surprise you in some way. <clears throat> Show me hopes and fears. Come on. Strength in reverse. You don't want to be vulnerable. You don't want to put yourself in a vulnerable position where someone can take advantage of you. And the end re excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> the end res I'm so sorry, you guys. <clears throat> the end result, we have the lovers in reverse. Yeah, that was a, a tough one to get out, obviously. Um, so this relationship, it's looking more like uh, that it is headed toward an ending and the way these energies are going to resolve is with lovers and reverse energy with the relationship splitting up but the reason behind it is that spirit wants everyone in the situation to heal so it may be that the connection is like keeping a wound open or keeping the two of you in pain somehow. What advice do we have for Pisces? The sun in reverse says things are going to get better. Stay optimistic as much as possible. Plan for the future. Um, don't look back to the past. Look forward to the future. Do what you can now to plan for what's coming next, but this says, like, better times are coming, and the more optimistic and joyful your intentions can be, the better the outcome is going to be for you moving forward. Pisces, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.